Welcome to another episode of Jane Lono's Book Club. Remember, no self-help, no weight loss, just stuff that rolls, explodes, and makes noise. And this is Fireball Tim's book, and he really makes stuff that rolls, explodes, and makes noise. As, as often as possible. Uh, Tim is a, a TV host and a car designer, uh, and he's written a children's book. It's a great idea, because there aren't very many good... I know so many little kids that are interested in cars. Oh, yeah. And you kind of give them grown-up books, but this is really for kids, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I grew up with Richard Scarry's books in the right. 60s, you know, and, and it just came a time where I realized you walk into a bookstore and there's just no kids' car books, right. you know? And I love cars, and I, I want to be able to share that with kids so we can keep the whole ball rolling. It's, and uh, I thought it was about that. Yeah, Fireball Tim's Big Book of Wacky Rides. Now, you've designed some cars for movies and things, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, give, give us some examples. Uh, I've done probably about 400 projects. Right. Uh, the first one was Batman. Uh, I've done uh, cars for movies like Son of the Mask. Right. Uh, even uh, recently, The Avengers. Uh, so a lot of different stuff. And, you know, cars are like characters in right, movies. You sure. know, uh, Sometimes they show up on set late. You know, sometimes they're a little... Uh, have a little trouble starting, but right, um, right. you know the the point of the book was to do uh, inanimate objects uh, and bring them to life, everyday things that kids uh, deal with on a daily well, basis. Well, this one kind of invites and uh, kind of suggests kids and dogs and well, tell me about this. Uh, that's called the windbreaker. Yeah. So that's basically a cow um, was inspired by O'Leary's cow in right. Chicago. Sure, the fire. Um, it's called the windbreaker because it's basically fart propelled. Right, it's, there it, you go. It, well, that can't get more kids than that. Yeah. Driven by skunks, right. no less. Now, what do we have here? Tell me about this one. Uh, that's, that one is uh, Miss Mer Mercy's Pooch Pod. That was right. actually based on, uh, my uncle was a pylon racer back in the 60s, and he had a Hawker Sea Fury. Uh, so each, each uh, one of these sketches is inspired by um, uh, trips that we take or things that we've done over the years. Now this one looks like you used your smoke detector. Right, right. That's teaching kids about sound, taking everyday items that they see and giving them an automotive spin, you know, that might be fun. So it's not so much a storybook, it's just interesting cars, and it makes kids want to design. You know what's fun? It's look like uh, you've taken sort of household items. Yep, yep. Like there's a... Power cord there. A snake strip. Yeah, a snake strip. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. Do you hear from kids that have drawn their own cars? After oh, yeah. Yours? Oh, yeah. And we do seminars at, at schools and stuff where, right. where we ask kids for uh, a few different ideas, and right. then we draw a car right in front of them. There's the bulbinator right there. You've yeah. done a light bulb. Yeah. That so, would be an electric car, I imagine. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get kids to think creatively, because as they grow up, they, they look in life, at life in a limited way, and we don't want to stifle that creativity. So uh, it's really up to them. They can be anything they want. There's a car that runs on mac and cheese. That's right. All cars should. The only car book I ever had when I was a kid was uh, Mike Mulligan's Steam Shovel. Yeah. And uh, I remember reading that as a kid. I would go down to the people across the street from me, showed how old I am. They had uh, a coal furnace, and the coal truck would come and dump coal, and I would mm -hmm. sit by the furnace because that was the closest thing to steam I could find <laughs> and read Mike Mulligan's you know, little steam right. shovel. And the, the more people that watched it, the more the steam shovel. But it was the first sure. sort of car machine book that I had ever read, but yeah. they didn't have this kind of stuff when I was a kid. I like the fact that it's all things that kids would know. There's a car made out of a cell phone. An old school cell phone. I think yeah. I drew that before the new... Yeah, yeah before the new the iPhone. Smartphone. Yeah, yeah, the kids go, what's that? Like but, you know, I'm, I'm really proud also the fact that um, uh, we have a great charitable cause for the book with the National Mill Dog Rescue. So yeah. they get part of the proceeds of the book. And what, rescue um, dogs? Is that what it is? Well, what, it's really unique what they do is they, they'll go through into uh, puppy mills and they'll, they'll shut them down. They'll take right. all their stock. They put right. them through a program okay. from cleaning them up all the way to uh, placing them in homes. Now so. show us. You have another book coming out as well. I do. This is a big announcement. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this was book one. This is book it's one. It's been out since January. And book two comes out in Christmas time. Okay. So I want to announce what that book is. And that book is the big book of Wacky States. Okay. So we're taking an automotive spin. And the, the, the whole point of doing the states was that there was an article about um, the, uh, uh, the head of the school district that would go around the schools, right. 600 uh, schools, 600,000 kids, and they would ask them about where do they live. And they were answering questions. Kids that lived in L.A. were answering questions, well, I live in Mexico. Or I, I don't know what city I live in. And, right. and these were fifth graders. Right. And kids are yeah. very visual. Yeah. You know, yeah. So I thought, you know, what better way to give them a visual representation of a state sure. and some facts about the state. This is, happens to be Kentucky. This is the Kentucky Bluegrass Derby. They're all right. racing hot rod guitars. Right. Now, show us some of the other ones that you've done. Well, people might remember sure. some of these Oh, you things. designed this car, huh? Well, and it's, it's something that, you know, I, I love to take credit for design, but it's... 
it's a group effort. Right. You right. know, the, there's a lot of people involved in, in projects like this. Well, sure. film. I mean, that's the one George Clooney drove. Uh, yes, yeah. and Michael Keaton. Michael yeah. Keaton as well. Uh, this was for uh, Knight Rider. Oh, okay. Um, this was a flying car that we built in seven days with Jesse James for Monster Garage. Okay, Monster Garage car. Everybody wants to fly a Panos. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, this was a about a 700 horsepower Mini Cooper for <laughs> a street funny. tuner challenge as a police car. Right. Something everybody needs. Uh, this also was for Monster Garage. This was the uh, final episode. Right. So uh, they're a lot of fun to concept, you know, and then sure. teams build them and, and uh, some different projects, obviously, for other films. You recognize? And you've got a bunch of things going. So what yeah. is that? Oh, looks like an oil filter on the ground. That is, is an that? oil filter, yeah. This is really cool. And they're involved with the book also, which is pretty neat. Yeah. But this is, uh, this is made by Lifetime Oil Filter, which uh, the company is 37 degree filter. And what's neat about it is that this is a, an oil filter you never have to change. Okay. So you put it on your car, and it eliminates oil filters going into landfills and right. the millions of pounds of oil that go sure, in. Sure, sure. You know? And they're, they're in several different sizes. They come in two colors, in red and, and uh, chrome. And uh, it's, they're just a tremendous group to be involved with. That They have the well, same see, how does this work? mentality how do you, here. Oh, this is the tool? They call that the bat tool to open it up. Oh, okay, and it's a filter see. within a filter. So the oil comes in from the center and moves outward. Right. All the ferrous material. It works like your lungs. So it captures all that material within the filter, and then... Uh, oh, I see. So that's a fine wire mesh, right. and then you just put this in an ultrasonic cleaner or something? Of that no, you, you can literally spray it out in the sink, because the oil will drain out, and the only thing left is the material, the ferrous material. Oh, I see. You know? okay. And you can put it right back on your car. Oh, okay. So you just use it over and over again. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. How do, how do you get one of these? Uh, I believe you can go to 37degreefilter.com. Oh, all right. Very yeah. good. Very good. I think the kids' book is just fantastic. Because Thank you. Because I always have a lot of kids come through here mm -hmm. with their dads, and a lot of the stuff is... They're too young. It's over their head. Yeah. They like cars, but they're not, you know, they're a little embarrassed to ask. So a book like this uh, is really a lot of fun, you know. What, would you, what was the age group? Four to seven? Uh, like pretty that? close. I think it's three to eight. Three to eight. Yeah. Well, okay, four to seven, three yeah. to eight. Yeah, All right. close enough. I was a slow learner, so I'll go four. So, uh, girl, girls are a little younger, too. Girls, so. yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, and it's for boys and girls, too. Oh, of course. That's kind of Absolutely. a fun thing. Because Absolutely. I find a lot of, I see a lot of young girls come in here too. We had some Girl Scouts here mm -hmm. not long ago and they were into car design and they came with some of the stuff they that's, had drawn. That's great. And it was, it was, really, it was yeah. really fun to see. Yeah. It was really fun to see. So, uh, Tim, thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Fireball, Appreciate Tim, it. This is the, awesome. Where can they get it? Uh, it's worldwide. So you can get it on Amazon, okay. Barnes & Noble. It's okay. uh, available uh, everywhere. We're going to do it in different uh, languages also. And we're going to do one a year. So if you just... If you just, I guess, uh, put in the name of the book. and Yeah, just write on. the name of the book on okay. Amazon. That's probably the cheapest place. It's, Great. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you very much, man. See you next week. Okay.